Are you through? Sorry. <laughs> roll call. We ready for roll call. Thank That'd you, Chair Brown. <laughs> Let's start with you. Achoo. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Supervisor Bushnell. Good morning. Supervisor Wilson. Present. Supervisor Arroyo. Here. And Supervisor Madron. Here. Thank you. Let's salute our glorious flag. I pledge your allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam CAO, do we have any uh, modifications? Or? Good morning, Chair Bone. There are no modifications to the agenda today. That's good. Is there any public comment on the consent calendar? Uh, looks like we may set a record for the shortest meeting in history since I've been here. Um, I did wish to make comment. Um, uh, D7, the office hours being cut back. I think that's a good good idea. I think we can save some money and efficiency there. Uh, D8, DHHS training, $197,000. Uh, we definitely need some training in our departments here and uh, strongly support that, especially in child welfare services. These people don't have a clue what they're doing and we need to make sure that they do because my friend's upstairs fighting for a child right now because of lack of training for your child welfare services people. Um, you have a a, a uh, <clears throat> D9, uh, 80 West 3rd Street. I believe that's a, a vacant lot, if I understand it, uh, which you intend to possibly do a, a lease on with some things of that nature. Highly recommend you keep your leases as short as possible with escape clauses. Uh, should funding for these kind of projects go away or be clawed back at state or federal level, uh, you're going to want to have some flexibility and ability to maneuver on those things. Uh, D10 was $3,723,750, I believe, is on consent. I think anything of that size should possibly be pulled off of consent uh, so that we can ex actually understand what's going on there. And I think that pretty well takes care of my comments on uh, consent items as we're moving along rapidly here. Great, thank you. Anybody else on the consent calendar? Seeing no one, I'll bring it back to the board. Supervisor Bushnell. Um, thank you. I is, uh, like to recognize the Fortuna Garden Club um, for their um, 100th year. Um, so we had a, they had a celebration a uh, week before last and, and celebrated their 100th year anniversary. And the Fortuna Garden Club is um, largely responsible for all the beautification in Fortuna, but maybe you would like to speak to that. Well, first I want to thank you for coming. Um, I was chairman of that event because of a medical problem in the family I couldn't attend. But I hear it was fantastic and we appreciate you coming and all of the city officials that did attend from Fortuna. We have a very special incident with the city of Fortuna. They realized quite a few years ago that they needed some help downtown and we volunteered to do it. We got grants from wonderful places in Humboldt County to begin with because it started over $5,000 to make Main Street beautiful. Now it's not quite that expensive. But the City of Fortuna gives us water. There's a water system and we do all of the rest. All of the labor, all of the buying of plants. And that's what we are. We're a garden club and we love it. So um, 100 years if you think about it, how women have changed and how the world has changed in 100 years. But since the beginning, the Garden Club in Fortuna has been dedicated to beautification, not only in the city, the county, and in the state. They used to go to the World Fair, 1900, what? I think it was 24 is when they started, but later on they drove like 10 hours, that was before we had freeways, to take flowers down there every week or two. So we've been dedicated to beautification for many, many years and we thank you for your proclamation, the city's proclamation and 
your willingness to attend our one. 100th anniversary party. Well, it was a it was a great event. I yeah. really enjoyed it, yeah. and I really enjoyed seeing all the tables decorated. And so I'll bring this out to you. Yes, they were uh, in increments of 10 years through that 100, and it was fun to get all of those different things. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So thank Thanks you. Thank very you for much. coming up. I, I wanted to also comment on every time I'm in Fortuna, I remark um, to whoever I'm with about how beautiful um, the garden uh, planters are in downtown, and it really makes it welcoming, and it's it's absolutely um, stunning, actually. It's very notable how beautiful those are, and I, I want to, um, you know, note how much as a visitor, when I'm in Fortuna, I, I appreciate the, the beautification. Thank you. Well. This time of the year, they are gorgeous because we have two big, huge events in July in Fortuna that we really spiff up downtown. Want to showcase. Right, right. No, and I very rarely, and I drive through Fortuna a lot, and it always amazes me that one or, one or two or three of you, especially on the weekends, early in the mornings somebody's and stuff like there. that, somebody's digging in the, you know, in the planners, making them even better than they were before. So thank you. And I want to thank Michelle for making it down to your event. So good stuff. Thank you. All right. I'll make a motion to accept the consent calendar. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any more discussion? Okay. Nikki? Thank you. Uh, Supervisor Bushnell? Yes. Supervisor Wilson? Yes. Supervisor Royal? Yes. Supervisor Madrone? Yes. And Chair Bum? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 5 0. Okay. And then uh, public comment on non agenda items. And we're still going for a record here. Well, you guys burned it up the last time, so I'll take my three. Um, uh, appreciate the time and I appreciate the, the Garden Club people here. Uh, herself and Mai are the only people from the public attending this meeting and I think there's three, there's three or four, maybe five staff members out here. So um, I'm here uh, with great concern. Um, historically, uh, DHHS was created by Philip Crandall. In my opinion, it was equivalent of a 30-legged octopus that was so large that nobody can manage it. Um, I'm not saying that Connie Beck doesn't have the intention of managing it, that her heart's in the right place, but it is so large that it needs to be broken up into, into smaller pieces, I believe. Some way to do that, I think, would be beneficial to the public. Um, my concern is specifically regarding child welfare service. And some of you are aware of something that's going on right now. The mother is upstairs in court trying to uh, get her children to have visitation, get her children to have counseling, because of a gross negligent a report that was prepared by CWS. And uh, that, that report uh, goes on for nine pages. It has comments from a whole bunch of people, but not a single comment from the mother. Something's wrong with a report that doesn't have a single comment from the mother. Um, a good share of that report is based upon somebody who basically is unstable. And this is her children have been taken away from her because of a sister who's been involved in drug abuse, been to Sempervirums multiple times, has major problems of her own, and yet, and yet the, the child welfare services were not able to understand the lack of credibility of someone who's now put these wonderful two little children in harm's way back in the, back in the hands of the molester. That is a broken process, and that needs to be fixed. I believe you're gonna have before you a grand jury report. It will have something about an ombudsman, and that's something that's very important. That's mandated by the state. That's part of what you had to do. And that has totally failed up until now. Now you have an ombudsman who is not pulled up from CWS staff. They seem to say that was that he should have had more training. The opposite is true. He is not a get-along, go-along person with them, and now he has the children's back. So I strongly support that ombudsman. The system here is very broken and needs to be fixed, and I will be here speaking until, until I can't speak anymore until this gets fixed and hopefully you folks will take this seriously because you could have technically have CWS funding completely clawed back it could go into receiverships with the state if it's not handled correctly and the funding will go away also so thank you for my opportunity to speak thank and, you and and thank you for having this short thank meeting you. today anybody else seeing no one else huh? 
I feel a strong sense of need for adjournment. <laughs> we are adjourned. Shortest meeting in history, 10 minutes. It is.